the Yamaha YXZ broke the mold when it hit the market, bringing a triple cylinder power plant linked to a gear on gear transmission able to deliver the significant power it produced to the ground in a new way for the industry. That it did truly take the sportiness of a side-by-side -side to a completely new level. Today I've been given the opportunity to test the significantly redesigned 2019 YXZ 1000R SS EPS SE. This DOHC with YCCS and RC2s makes me want a TTYL and hold it WOT. Yeah, it's an acronym filled vehicle, but for the 2019 YXZ, it gets the biggest update since its inception. The obvious updated styling is welcomed and adds freshness to the rig. The new rims are clean and looked apart, and the 29 Bighorn 2.0s are a welcomed upgrade in size, matching what the industry seems to have adopted as the standard high-performance side-by-side size tire. The tire increase gives us 13.7 inches of ground clearance, and travel out back is 17 inches, while up front sits at 16.2. Once you get past the obvious changes, the real differences are harder to notice without a little more digging. For 2019, Yamaha has taken the YXZ to a completely new market. With 7% overall gear ratio reductions and in first gear alone, a 24% reduction, this means that now trail riders and technical terrain riders are getting something that they've always been asking for. When you add to this the addition of beefier engine internals, including new high strength connecting rods, a relocated high mount rear radiator, and the dual air filter design, Yamaha has truly poised the YXZ to no longer just be a one-trick pony focused at dunes and desert, but now a very capable trees and trails side-by-side -side that's also going to allow for greater deep water riding with the Rad Relocate. Sure, it'll keep the engine running cooler with 30% greater cooling capacity and a dual electric fan moving 300% more air, but folks who really want to get the YXE ready for the mud, it's a feature that's very welcomed. While engine durability has been increased, power stays very similar, but that's not a bad thing. However, one thing that is changing for 2019 is the ability to stop and hold position when you're riding in technical conditions. Yamaha completely overhauled the braking system for 2019. With steel braided lines, larger pistons, larger calipers, larger rotors, and even a larger master cylinder, it improves in the safety and control department, but we felt the earlier YXZs required a significantly greater amount of pedal pressure. This new setup is tight, firm, and very controllable, with little to no fade even after 10 miles run of fire roads and heavy brake use. And speaking of another area that I saw absolutely zero fade, for 2019, the YXZ SSSE comes with Fox 2.5 inch RC2 shocks. They offer high and low speed compression adjustability, as well as a rebound clicker, and also for 2019, offer a dual spring setup. What does that mean for you? Well, there's a ton of adjustability. Whether it be preload or valving, you can really tune the SSSE to work the best for your conditions that you're riding on. The drawback is there are so many adjustments to be made that unless you truly take the time to understand what your adjustments are gonna do, you should stay pretty close to stock and remember what the stock setting is as a baseline to come back to, as it's really easy to get way out of whack. This is not to say that adjustments are bad, but proper education is needed when dealing with this high a caliber of shock package. Now we all know that the SS or Sport Shift comes with paddle shifters as well as YCCS, which is Yamaha chip controlled shift technology as well as an advanced auto clutch design. But how's that translate into trail drivability? Keep in mind the SSSE is 64 inches wide, so you ain't running your backwoods ATV trails. But the Sport Shift is a blast to drive and I feel immerses me even further into the driving experience. Pounding a shift, or more properly, grabbing a paddle when exiting a corner and looking for a higher ground speed, or likewise tapping it down a gear or two for a hard entry into a corner, truly gets my adrenaline pumping and my competitive nature in gear. The ability to not take what gear ratio I'm given, but take the gear ratio that I want is both exciting and also immersive as you start to feel more connected and more focused. Truly, I, I almost let go even more of the worries of the day because I'm not just gas and brake, I'm pounding shifts. I'm determining the best gear to be in, and it's like nothing else in this sport. 
It's a truly unique feature only Yamaha offers. Sure, it may not be for everyone, but those seeking a more driver-centric experience are gonna find that the new 2019 YXZ offers something that other manufacturers can't. It's targeted to a broader range than just sand and dunes, and now it's trails and trees, a segment that's been asking for it since it first came out.